couture designer. I mean, his dresses start somewhere in the four digits price tags, anywhere from like Neiman's to um, his high, high-end couture where he, you know, dresses some of the really big names, first ladies and then some when it comes to red carpet, um, Super Bowl appearances, halftime shows. Jason is really magnificent when it comes to shaping a woman's body with clothing. And this is, we're calling it an outerwear piece, but much like the last piece, I would keep this on inside and treat it like a little bomber jacket version of a blazer. It just today dropped in price and became $40 less than it should be. Now, I realize there's a lot of print going on here, but Lydia, <laughs> sorry, I mean, if you're just, if you're channel surfing, you're like, wow, <laughs> that girl's got it going on. Um, but I just, I, Lydia has the black on, so I wanted to grab a color. You know what, I'm gonna try the blue. Maybe at least it'll flow better. But what I wanted to tell you is quilted, okay? Quilted, a little bit of light batting, but not puffery at all ribbed knit bottom so has that cute kind of sporty sweatshirty flavor total zip front baseball jacket styling with the same rib knit up here around the collar colors because normally these are over 100 bucks with tax and shipping but again today they got marked down and the blue floral or the red floral or the black all machine wash are 59 and change so let me actually slip on the blue and as i do i'll just kind of tell you a, a little cute story so um jason was is from taiwan and he um with his mother came over to the states when he was uh, a young boy and as his dad and mom raised him there were a couple things that from those early days became really pivotal as he would grow into an adult and become a, a designer and a fashion designer and love fashion. So when you see the floral print choices, Jason's dad is like a master gardener, um, a true botanist. And so, you know, whereas a lot of fashion designers love floral prints and will sketch a floral print, Jason can pretty much tell you like, all of the Latin names for all of the genus flowers of the whatever. So for him, floral is very personal and has kind of like a, a really heartstrings backstory. So the two floral choices here, I share that with you because flower, he, he will never, and he will tell you this, he never has a collection from year to year, fall to spring, spring to fall, that doesn't have some sort of nod to floral in it. Um, I just put on the blue. You can see, granted there is a black too, which I think is really cool because it's just cute and simple. And it, the whole hour I feel like we've been channeling moto and motorcycle, but in these softer fabrics, and in this case, um, a diamond quilted, so it doesn't feel harsh like some motos can feel. Also has that kind of baseball jacket feel, um, which is highly sporty and really cute. The black is flying out the door. Um, I love both floral choices personally, but I will also just say the red floral, I think is particularly beautiful because he, he went to like the fiery side of blood red orange and burgundy and those just absolutely lit up crimson shades. And then he gets a little peachy for details and for contrast. And I mean, set against the black backdrop, it's, it's really beautiful. Um, but woven bomber, machine wash, rib trim collar, pockets, which I haven't mentioned, on seam, so they add zero bulk. And then I'm wearing a size that's like a little small for Shawnee, but I'll zip it up nonetheless so you can just see. Because when you have it zipped, guys, again, this would be, I know we're calling it outerwear, but this is like a little topper jacket, for instance, a denim jacket in your wardrobe, this is from the same, um, cut from the same cloth. So instead of outerwear that you keep in like a front hallway closet, this hangs in your closet upstairs in your bedroom. This you're grabbing for on days you're not grabbing a cardigan or a denim jacket, or even you want something far more 
um, relaxed compared to like wearing a blazer. And this over just a t-shirt or a tank. So for me, though, if you live somewhere warm, this could be your version of outerwear. I'm gonna say for me, this is a jacket that I'm wearing as an indoor fashion topper piece. 200 out the door. Um, I, can I also just encourage you, that I have this website that I'm obsessed with, and I have the app on my phone, largely because wh who of us doesn't love to drool in window shop, but then, you know, we can't really <laughs> technically afford most of that drool in window shopping. So there's this luxury consignment website called The Real Real. And so I'll just love to go on there because, you know, some of these brand names that you might not otherwise be able to afford, now you go on The Real Real, and because they are... Um, lightly used, you know, now maybe you're in the ballpark of being able to afford it. And when you see <laughs> dresses from like his couture couture from Jason Wu on their website, I mean, it is just, it's like, it's a fairy tale really. And so he's tremendously gifted, has actually a really long history of back pre-COVID dressing, you know, major A-listers, Oscar winners for um, the award ceremonies and so you know he'll like design a dress and fly out to LA and that there's a whole thing and so that's his background that's certainly his passion and his love but he came to QVC because his mom actually was the one that inspired him um, in fashion she was always that like beautifully primly properly dressed woman she wore the gloves the driving gloves and everything and she truly inspired him and so I think the really beautiful thing he did in coming to QVC was make his genius and his creativity accessible to all of us because when you just live in that very couture world that's a very tiny audience now the audience has really become quite grand here at the Q and um, in no time flat he had a TSV after launching here so really really think um, high fashion, think couture inspired prints and cuts and fabrics, but for price points, especially on a clearance event, that are like unmatched. Like you just can't. And I think with 300 out the door, the way Lydia is wearing this is perfect because it completely makes my point. You don't think she's wearing outerwear. She doesn't look like she's wearing a coat that when she gets to the restaurant, like someone in coat check will be like, can I take your coat? It's not that. It's like a cute little denim jacket style piece. But instead of a denim jacket, which can get, you know, a little played out, um, it's a bomber jacket or a little baseball jacket. It is technically woven because it has that diamond quilting. But because it has the rib knit trim on the cuffs and on the hem and on the collar, it feels comfy. Um, and then it does have, again, light, I say this lightly, has a little bit of that light batting inside, nothing puffy, but a little bit of that light, light batting, which gives it a little bit of kind of soft and cozy. Um, whereas if that were not there, it, this would be a highly wispy parachute style piece. As for pockets, they're there, they're on these seams, so you're not noticing them and they're not bulging. Um, which is really cute. And also notice how he's completely matched. Like that's a really couture detail, a fine workmanship detail. When the print and the seams come together and the print looks like there is no seam because he's matched those two fabrics together. It's pretty glorious, I will say. And really fun way to end the show. 400, almost 500 out the door. Black is extremely popular. This is gonna be our red floral. That is our blue floral. And just today, this, which normally goes for over a hundred bucks with tax and shipping, became 59. That's a 35% off. Holiday return policy is in effect until um, I think tomorrow. So you're good to go on buying things and still returning them.